Hi guys, welcome to the, my latest build. Um, I'm the Zoological Gamer and today we're going to be building an exhibit for the American Alligator. It's part of the new DLC expansion pack for a Planet Zoo and um, something I've been looking forward to building for quite some time. A like crazy amount of numbers of designs and builds running through my mind but I finally got to uh, sit down today and uh, design and build one and um, I just went with it. I knew what I wanted from the start. I wanted to incorporate uh, what you're seeing now as the start of a, you know, like a an exhibition cave where you can go in and get really close to the animals um, in a in a real, you know, different kind of a way. I've never never done this before, but I've I've always thought of doing it, and uh, so I just went with it today. And um, yeah, I just put it together. You know, chopped and changed a few times as per usual. Um, it's kind of my kind of my thing, my style. I I don't really stick to the plan in fact I just put it down if it looks good onto the next block as it says so you know here you can see forever checking all the angles all the corners I just wanted to make sure that it was you know as perfect as as it could be um, you see there I've been marking out with soil I've been doing that a lot recently and it's something I watched another youtuber do not so long not so long ago and it's actually a fantastic way of, of designing like the base floor layout for an individual you know part of the exhibit or if you're designing a complete build of a zoo or a park you know you can just put the dirt down and just see what it looks like what's the flow what's the layout is it natural is it is it supposed to be natural is it supposed to be you know and informal straight lines and curves etc um, but I use it for even building complex or you know partly complex exhibits in in all my parks and projects and zoos here um, so that's the start of the cave I didn't like here you see me chopping and changing all the time I didn't like how low the roof was I wanted to have a little bit of uh, height in there uh, to create almost like a an environment ambience in itself so yeah starting with different size blocks playing around you know seeing how it goes you never know how it's going to go until you do it so that's as I say I don't really stick to the rules and I wanted to uh, chop and change and um, it's not unusual for me to get you know three quarters of the way through a project and I will just start tearing it apart and you know I have been known to completely restart again because I didn't like it so, you know, you can design it on paper all you like until you see it in the flesh or you know, on the screen, so to speak. You don't know how it's going to turn out. So, yeah, um, quite a simple roof. There's no need to go over the board. I just wanted to create like a cave look. And sometimes simplicity is it's just per what I'm looking for perfectly, really. So it's not straight. It's not, you know, in any way, shape or form perfect. But, you know, it did the job of what I was looking for so I was also streaming this on my twitch channel which is the zoological gamer um, at twitch TV and basically you know we had a few people there helping me out you know giving me some ideas and I've got to be honest some of the ideas were brilliant originally I was going to go for like an underwater exhibit and I'm quite glad I didn't because when you think of an alligator yeah, you're thinking of you know murky swampy dirty water whereas here you know you couldn't really put an underwater tunnel in deep dark murky water could you um, it just wouldn't make sense you wouldn't be able to see anything I think is what I'm trying to say um, so I decided to go for like the mangrove swamp layout which is why I'm building all these panels from scratch using the four meter round poles um, each panel is built separately and as you can see I just copy and paste the design and you know I'm quite glad I did because I think it looks miles better than just using standard uh, chain link so that's what I did um, it was an absolute pain to get straight along the top but so worth worth the while of uh, all the hassle and stresses and strains of the project um, the blocks that you see in the center breaking up the fence is not my idea I actually got that from another youtuber who was designing I believe it was the D lay designer who was doing the um, the mountain lion exhibit and I thought it looked quite smart um, so I decided to incorporate that into my build at this point you see me 
putting the pathway in. I didn't know whether I wanted actually to have guests in there. Um, as soon as you start putting guests, it just changes the format and it could be a real pain to um, you know, incorporate all the stuff that I wanted. So I didn't in the end, I ended up just leaving it. Um, and just something for, for me to go in, or you guys, the viewers, at the end to see how it looked. I suppose if you are going to do something like that, I would strongly recommend making the pass really, really wide um, and whatever exhibit you're doing quite wide as well. So it's um, kind of my thing with any exhibit. I like to put a real nice, strong background on all my exhibits. Um, they're always used in natural contrast, um, tall stuff at the back, small stuff at the front, and it's one of my favorite things to to do when I'm building an exhibit and um, I did the same here I used just standard uh, desert rock I think it was and um, it just seemed to work the natural stone in grey color just didn't work it was too dark and I didn't like it so I ended up switching to the to the natural sand and um, sand colors and it just seemed to flow really really well lots of tinkering as per usual nothing is ever right until the very end and even then I'll probably it's one of them projects I'll probably come back to in about a couple, you know three or four months time and I'll still find things wrong with it and I'll still want to, to to pick at it and change it in different ways but that's the beauty of it so here I'm deciding to um, think about where I was going to put a platform considering I wasn't going to put an underwater viewing tunnel I wanted to, to try something different and it's something I've never done before I wanted to create a raised platform area kind of going half into the enclosure um, but I wanted to plant it out I wanted to make it look natural and I wanted to make it look you know a little bit different and something not the same standard as every other um, you know platform that is out there so I decided to go with a stone causeway um, and to try and keep it in in line with the background the cave sort of stuff going on um, and I just played around I just wanted to see what worked what didn't work um, you see me doing lots and lots of tinkering taking things in taking things out um, and eventually I settled for just like a one level staircase which I think worked really really well at the end and I'm kind of glad I didn't go any higher because it would have just looked a little bit you know silly in my opinion but uh, I, tr I tried it this way and um, again never built one of these before and I wanted to, to give it a go and just see how it flowed and how it uh, looked with the exhibit so it's still very much in the early stages here but um, you know anything can change at this point I mean especially in my builds so again finishing off with a nice coping sandstone um, now we focus on what we're doing now this here was actually taken from an idea i think it was chester zoo i think it was that could be wrong um originally i was going to go through just a straight open top planned platform and then i thought no i could put like a centerpiece in the center couldn't i and it, it, it would draw your attention and give it a bit more of a more adventurous feel when you're actually up there looking into the exhibit. Um, also underneath I wanted to rail it out along the bottom using the four meter round posts but as per usual I changed my mind halfway through and I didn't like it um, and decided to try something different. I decided to uh, flip them vertically um, almost like piling uh, the old piling rods that you see on piers and you know um, ocean platforms and stuff like that and it, it I think it worked really well and um, I'm kind of glad I did again I've never done it before I've never designed something like this you know it was new, different it was new and I wanted to to give it a good go really so as you can see the tedious process of individually plonking them into the ground <laughs> um, but I think it paid off because it looked looks really really smart when it's finished so again you know typical of my builds I wanted to do it individually to make sure that it was it was just right and we were going to go from there and just and just see what it looks like towards the end um, if I didn't like it I would have changed it but 
I was quite happy with it to be honest in the end and um, it's definitely something I would use in future builds and future exhibits um, especially in my two big projects that I've got currently on at the moment um, but here I you know this was just this was just a standard sandbox I wanted to you know, design something different it's, this isn't a, actually a zoo of mine it's just just a build and I, I quite often do that I take myself away from the game itself and just go into design mode and just see what works really really well I may incorporate something like this into one of my existing parks and zoos but you know we'll see so it looks quite standard there I just wanted to soften it out or you know harden it out I suppose with with some rocks and coping stones and you know really try and blend it into that stone background and I think I achieved that here um, you'll notice that little bit there that uh, I was building I'll go into more details of that later um, the center point again I wanted to create something different something unique um, inspired by something I've seen at an, a previous an actual real zoo and that's like a centerpiece floral display and here I've got the extra large rhubarb plants with my favorite the bracken um, and I'm just filling in little spots and gaps and I think personally I think this works really really well and the contrast of colors is just stunning and um, I'm definitely going to be incorporating this sort of look and design into one of my existing parks and my existing exhibits um, I had real real enjoyment making this um, again something I never use which is the mangrove tree I wanted to just sneak something in there to see what I could create so focusing our attention now towards the back so focusing our attention now to the back uh, I wanted to make take a look at the waterfall setup I haven't actually built that many waterfalls so I was going to leave that kind of to the last moment but I thought digging the pool out would be something I'd want to do again a lot of editing a lot of chopping and changing and and things like that and we're going for the swampy look now that is exactly why I didn't want to put the underground tunnel in look at the state and color of that water but it's perfect that's exactly what you'd expect to see an alligator in um, so that's what I decided to do and keep that water um, nice and dark and murky um, it's not particularly deep so you know I don't know actually know whether the with the the uh, it, the alligators are programmed to dive I'm, I hope they are if they're not you know not a big deal but this is again something that I just sort of spur of the moment and um, I didn't want to just have a standard animal shelter I wanted to build one and what better to have a cave next to a cave so I decided to proceed building that and again you know something I like to do just to humor myself more than anything is I like to put little kind of like Easter eggs in my builds um, not every one of them I do but um, in most of them I do so I decided to put like a secret back room in this little alligator cave I don't even know if alligators sleep in caves I don't think they do but you know I could be wrong um, so and then here we're getting towards the build of the waterfall I'm just putting the basic shapes and basic foundations in I didn't really want to do too much and focus on that too much and towards until towards the end I wanted to get the landscape sorted out which was you know one of my favorite parts I was looking for um, so this is what I decided to do I used a combination of mangrove trees swamp trees and a few poplar trees along with some giant redwoods but they were to go towards the back um, using sunken um, hyacinths etc I, I made that that swampy look very very quickly along with lady lady ferns and of course the good old bracken some sunken stones here I was playing around with the coloration of the stones I settled on like a lime green sort of look um, just to see what it looked like and you know I left it at that but I think I'll be definitely doing more of that in my later builds um, again I wanted to do something different something I've never done before so I decided to get some of the old broken trees lying on their side and actually put them like going into the little pool um, again it's something you would see especially in North America uh, in the swamp and mangrove areas uh, fallen trees that have been moved either by nature or, or the animals themselves so 
it's what I decided to do is just be a little bit creative, spend a little bit of time, you know, trying different things, different colours, different shapes, sizes, that sort of thing, um, until I got the desired effect really. Um, all of my exhibits have like a natural feel to them. I don't really have any um, what I would class as formal or informal sort of stuff. I decided to do something that looks natural and flows. It's just something I like building um, and incorporating lots of different plants, making it you know look natural like it's supposed to be here. Um, I didn't like the blue flowers, so I removed them and I replaced them with reeds because that is exactly where I'd expect to see an alligator near the lake, you know, sides and where the uh, reeds would normally sit. So, you know, occasionally, just for reference points, I'd take a look through the, you know, the spots where the guests would be looking and just seeing how it would look. Does it feel right? Does it flow well? And uh, of course, does it look like it's supposed to be there? Because that's, of course, the most important bit. Um, it's supposed to look like it, it's, it's supposed to be there. See, there's the water. Um, again, I went for the murky colour. Um, the clear water just didn't work for me. I just didn't like it and I just found it a bit pointless. I wouldn't expect to see something like an alligator, you know, in somewhere like that. So um, I decided to finish up with a few other bits of landscape, um, the hard landscape that is. Before I moved on to the eventual soft, I've, I've got water lilies going in here. Um, I try to incorporate water lilies. I really do like. Them. I think it does um, create quite a nice little scene to see some, you know, just a nice a couple of um, blotches. Um, I get a lot of questions when I'm on the live. You know, why do I put so many? And I think thing is, if you're going to try and create a natural impact imagine different types of foliage in groups I never put them singularly um, I always I, do, I like to do cascades of things or waves of stuff and that just seems to work and I think it looks a lot more natural um, if you have lots of little bits everywhere it just doesn't seem to flow so with here it's kind of gone for the slapdash and messy look but you know you can incorporate a bit of color but like I've done here I've done it with several units and I've made it look look as if it's supposed to be there. I've sunken it into the ground a little bit under that murky water. That's exactly where you'd expect to see it. But um, just for a difference, I wanted to put something um, a little different in this corner, which you'll see I'm editing now. I actually decided to plant this area up here with red hot pokers, hyacinths, um, all sorts of stuff and create a really nice display and I'm, I'm glad I did I think it looked absolutely wicked and um, you know the, the alligators were never going to go into that bit anyway that was always going to be fenced off um, here you see me adding the last of the greenery bits which is the bracken the nettles I've got the African daisies going in there um, and I, it just works really well and a couple of palms which you wouldn't expect to see um, in many of my exhibits but this one I decided to because you know in the Florida Keys etc palms are, are th found regularly throughout uh, the swamp mangroves and the, the Everglades and places like that so um, lots of different contrasts of green um, I always find that important when I'm digging this out um, funnily enough that little bit you saw there which was the um, sand that I was putting on I wanted to make it look as if it's regularly used where alligators keep going into the lake so I decided to do a different almost like a highlight of where they keep going in um, of course it goes without saying the reeds I wanted lots of reeds I wanted to make it look proper planted out you know but at the same time messy I wanted it to look um, decent now again I'm just looking at every vantage point I wanted to see what I could do to you know please the eye from multiple different angles I think that's extremely important uh, when I do things like this um, again here I was just playing around with um, building like a hut I've seen on somebody else's channel about Lake Placid which is a brilliant film by the way um, I was going to do like a, a broken hut. In the end, I decided not to go for that because I just don't think it worked for my build. And um, it, it, uh, yeah, I just decided not to go with it in the end. Um, but uh, you know, it was always worth trying and just seeing how we got on with it anyway. But um, I'll probably delete that bit. 
Okay, so the waterfall. I know there are different ways of doing waterfalls, and I know a lot of people would do um, floating um, islands and stuff like that in the sky with a big glass ink. To be honest, I wasn't really too worried because the waterfall wasn't necessarily coming from anywhere in particular. Um, so I just wanted to create a waterfall, quick waterfall with a few effects. I was going to stone cap the top anyway. Um, just to just it's just a background it's not anything important um, I went with the idea of doing a few springs but again it just didn't flow with the the current plan and idea that I had going on anyway um, so here you'll see me starting to stone cap the top um, and I just wanted to go for that you know rugged cliff look um, again it wasn't really meant to be all that important I just spent a bit of time you know making it look as if it's a little bit natural not not too much otherwise I would have just gone for a straight waterfall but you know this is, is an exhibit it's clearly an exhibit and I wanted to do that here's where the zookeeper was going to come in I didn't end up keeping that unfortunately um, due to it, it was it was starting to to annoy me towards the end but I couldn't necessarily get the alligators into the exhibit because you know it wasn't technically an ex yeah, a habitat or an established habitat should I say so um, I had to compromise for something else which you'll see later on in the in the video um, I tried glass right at the, uh, at the start when I was building the panels and I just didn't like it I just didn't get that vibe from them so on this occasion I just went for the standard chain 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 link fencing um, and I hid the posts and, and things like that into the wooden posts that um, I, I put in there, you know, at the very, very start. Um, a few minor tweaks on the fencing, and I think I got it nailed, spot on. And um, you know, I think it was, I think it was the right thing to do in this build. Um, you know, again, if you have suggestions and if you want to make some some comments and, and tell me what you think of the build, yeah. You know, I'd be to totally down for that and um, I always appreciate the different people's opinions on my builds and um, now here I actually went for the glass because it'd be a bit weird to have like a cave thing than chain link fencing um, so I decided to go with with the with the glass and it worked quite well I had a few ideas at this point what I wanted to put in the cave but I I've seen on several occasions different ideas where people have put like notice boards and things like that um, which is quite cool I suppose but you know I had a I had a different idea and I wanted to try it out and I used to do on a different entirely different game to what this is um, the good old weathering with some ivy um, not that it was supposed to be ivy it was more, supposed to be more like jungly viney stuff but uh, you know only subtle I didn't go overboard it was just subtle little subtle hints which I think made for the rest of the, for the rest of this exhibit anything I did at this point was subtle it was something I was doing just to give it a bit of splash of color um, sticking to those main colors of the greens the browns and that sort of thing the very swampy look um, but yeah that's what I decided to do um, and here and again I'm just touching up with green of the green greenery and the natural look but um, this is something I wanted to try which is a little bit different I've put some lighting in here which isn't you know it's pretty standard um, but here I decided to create like a, my own display board um, I tried a few ideas and it didn't you know it didn't quite give me the same sort of vibe so this see this one was just too big so I went for a smaller one bigger one and then I found one which was perfect so I decided to stick with this and um, I used to do this on a game called <sighs> it escapes me Eden Eden World Builder on the mobile phone. Um, you know, it's probably long forgotten about now, but I used to play that and create on that a lot. Um, but here, I just wanted to create like a little notice board and information board just to show, you know, give people information about the alligators. Of course, you know, I didn't want to spend too much time on this, so I just went with a good old standard block. <laughs> <laughs> the block and colours. Um, I did end up actually putting an official notice board on there, showing a picture of an alligator, so it it didn't look you know weird and out of place. Um, but all the all the 
the supposed writing was done using squares, blocks and that sort of thing and um, you know it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world I just think you know it is different it's some, again it's something I hadn't done on this game before um, will I do it again probably not I, I might do um, it all depends really um, so there's your screen and eventually I hook that up with the electrics and uh, I get like a, an alligator information screen just to show people what an alligator <laughs> where it is I suppose all the information like its natural habitat and its behavior and that sort of thing but then again it gave me an idea and then out the front I wanted to do like a sign now I know this is not politically correct I suppose but you know here it goes I wanted to put the alligator cave but then I realized that the lettering on this thing is a absolute pain so I decided to go with the croc cave and again individual letters and getting it right was was a real pain because the, the, the surface isn't completely flat um, it's all on ragged rock and you know you, you just have to do your best I do actually end up going back um, whether this is on the video or not it is towards the end I know it is because it shows it when it's complete um, and I end up making good and trying it again and I actually nailed it and um, you know again I know it's not a crocodile exhibit I know but it's it's you know it's it's an alligator exhibit I just didn't fancy sit standing there writing alligator you know this is of course is, is a speed run and um, the real time I think I spent building this exhibit was something like four and a half five hours um, so at this point I just wanted to you know not rush it of course I just wanted to to get the finishing touches done and get the alligators in there and and see what they look like because I hadn't I hadn't seen what the models looked at look like at this point yet um, and I was you know quite raring to go and get it seen to but that's how I finished it off a bit of greenery you know nothing special um, in keeping with the rest of the um, the rest of the layout of the exhibit I suppose um, here I've got you know, just putting it again it's just seen a scenery background it's, it's something I do with all my builds especially if I'm building in sandbox I suppose um, I'm giving it like a foresty feel look just for something to back uh, like a background the good old nettles I, I do like my nettles and and the bracken and stuff and I decided to put a few basic plants again I didn't go overboard um, but as you'll see, you'll, you'll see I'm going in waves again um, grouping things together and just seeing how they look when I put them in and I think it flowed really really well uh, for this build and um, I thoroughly enjoyed making this build actually and I found this one to be quite creative um, you know I'm putting the bed thing everything the attention to detail of the things I was doing and I was putting things like the bedding in there um, I was putting um, you know making sure that um, it at least looked like I was going to use it and I think I will use this in some of my projects I think I will but looking back on it now I think there's a few things I would change um, I think the size of the enclosure is is okay but I think it would look brilliant if you were to have like 10 to 12 alligators in in the same sort of pool um, that to me would, would make sense so coming towards the end of the build now I'm just making a few final adjust, adjustments um, sorting out the plaques of wood here and um, yeah here's the tour here's the finished product um, I was quite happy with it I was quite happy with how it went um, you're gonna I'm gonna give you the tour now um, let you have a look around um, let me know what you think and let, let us all know what you think in the comments box and um, I'll catch you after the tour
So there you have it guys, um, that was the alligator exhibit. I really had so much fun designing and building it uh, from scratch and uh, really pleased with how it went. Um, if you've liked this video and if you've liked the content um, and the exhibits, the designs um, and you want to help support me, please feel free, um, please do like the video and of course please subscribe. It would be great to have you join uh, join the, the clan and um, you know, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you on the next one. Um, bye for now.